Well, grocery store prices may be hurting our wallets. You certainly know that. We're yes. all living through that. And that's actually why some right here in our state are now rolling up their sleeves and planting their own gardens. Yeah, this is a pretty good idea. Channel 3's Lauren Richardson is live at Winterberry Gardens in Southington with more. Lauren. Yeah, guys, I'm actually inspired, so I definitely don't have a green thumb at all, but employees here tell me that it's kind of easy if you start off with some of uh, these vegetables in containers. And I've got some vegetables over here, too, to show you. We've got some cucumbers, we've got some spaghetti squash, and some zucchini, and these are just some of the plants that you can actually buy here. But in the past couple of years, the demand for gardening has been on the rise. So why not grow your own fruits and vegetables? I talked to to Sebi Milano, he's the head gardener here, and he says plants like tomatoes and peppers actually thrive on the summertime heat. They also offer seeding classes here a couple times a year, providing materials and expert advice to newbies like myself, and they already have a class on planting fall veggies like broccoli and spinach in July. Milano says among some tips, you want to make sure you fertilize and weed and don't overwhelm yourself with too many plants at once. He says he's seen a huge interest growing since a year or two before the pandemic actually started. I think uh, they had the time to get started in it, and once they started it, they liked it. So now they're continuing to do it. And we're also finding the trend is moving more towards container gardening. In the past, it was all traditional, in the ground, tilling, dirt, you know, that kind of thing. Now we're finding people are growing a lot of vegetables right in their flower gardens, and they're on decks around their pools. And yeah, at a lot of these places, you can buy seeds, you can buy plants, you can garden them on your own, and then you can get a really fresh tasting summer salad, which sounds pretty yummy, am I right? Here live in Southington, Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Back to you guys.